Hey guys, I am coming to you from a piece of you. It is a little after five on Tuesday and we are open actually till 7.30 on Tuesday. So come in and knit with us or shop or whatever you need to do. Um, we enjoy the company. But I wanted to um, kind of show you guys, I've been talking about the middle of the mitten yarn crawl and I wanted to show you guys how you can sign up um, it will be the end of July, beginning of August. So, hi Pat. It will be um, July 28th, which is a Thursday, through Saturday, August 6th. Okay. There are 11 stores participating. And each one of them will have their own hours. Um, I think most people will be open 10 to 3 but some people may not be open on Sunday um, but you'll find all that out in your passport so let me show you how you can order one they won't be available until about the week before the crawl okay but um, we're going to hi Donna we're gonna have a souvenir project bag and a um, passport a paper passport and all of that's written on our website and that's where you can go to order everything um, for that. So let me walk you over to the computer. Hi Pam, good to see you. Excuse our mess. I am walking you over to the computer and I am on a pieceofyou.com's website. And I just got this all finished today, and I'm so excited about it. Hi, Pam. Pam, you're going to want to do this, too. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hang on. I'm going to put this down for just a second because I'm going to make this a little bigger so you guys can actually read it. Hang on. Uh, there. Okay. Just a little bigger. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to a apieceofyou.com. A apieceofyou.com. That's our website. And so we have our online store, which you guys are all familiar with. Hi, Maya. And we just added a page, the middle of the mitten yarn crawl. And if you click on that, look, you see a middle of the mitten yarn crawl. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. And this is type is really kind of small, but if you go to our website, you'll see it just fine. Hi, Tammy. There are 11 shops that are participating. We have, of course, a piece of you. Hi, Beth. And they're all in the middle of the Michigan. So they're all in the middle of the mitten, hence the name. And um, we go from Brighton and Clarkston and um, Grand Blank and Frank and Muth and Saginaw and Claire and Tawas, there's two of us in Bay City, and oh, Midland is included, and Tawas is included. So, um, and St. Charles this year. So, what we're doing is we tend to be the guys that get left out from yarn crawls because we're in the middle of the of the state. So hang on, I'm going to put this down again because you really probably can't see what I'm doing. Um, oh, now that's better. Even I can read it. Okay. And we all get left out of the yarn crawl. And that's just no fun because we're not close enough to the Detroit area. We're not close enough to up north. So we came up with our own yarn crawl because the I-75 yarn crawl, just in case you haven't heard, is not happening this year. The woman who organized it closed her shop and it's not happening. So this is our little logo for our bags. And the reason we have these little yarn balls here, there's 11 of them, is because we're gonna have little souvenir pins that you can pin on your bag for each store that you go to, you'll get a pin. I think that's just kind of fun. Hi, Joy, hi, Carol. And so this explains everything about it. We're going to have paper passports because I really like those. They're easier to write notes. And is there going to be a Facebook page for the crawl? Uh, maybe. 
Um, but it's on the website, all the information. We will be promoting it on our Facebook page and it will take you to a link here so you can buy your stuff. Good question, Beth. Um, and so it will be a similar passport to what we had before when we did the I-75 yarn crawl. Okay, it'll have all that good information. If somebody has a good promotion, I know we have at A Piece of You, we have several trunk shows. We're having yarn dyed specifically for us. And so I think it's going to be fun. So what does this all cost you? Um, the passports are just $8. And yes, there is a road trip in your future. And your limited edition souvenir project bag is just $15. So for under $25, you can do the yarn crawl and have a cool project bag that you can put all your little pins on. It'll be fun. And um, hi, Mary. Good to see you. So you can order both by clicking the click here to order. And I made it really obnoxious so you guys could see it. Um, and I wanted to go through how you do this. So you click. Okay. Now, um, the, I want to, there we go. So this is our logo again. This is how you are going to sign up. If you've ever done the, um, fiber side chats, it's very similar to that. Um, ignore this. They couldn't take it off about the color availability. Um, Everything's going to be the same color, but this is just a generic thing that comes up on our website and they couldn't take it off or they, they would have to take it off of all of them. So don't question that. But the reason I'm going through this is because see all the stores. So a piece of you, Apple Tree Lane, Beyond the Rainforest, and we even say what city they're in. Hi, Cheryl. Dragonfly Quilts and Yarn in Bay City. Um, Rapunzel's in Frankenmuth, Stranded in Midland, Tawas Bay Yarn Company in Tawas City, Knitter's Nest in Clarkston, The Little Yarn Shop in Saginaw, Unwind in Brighton, Victorian Purses by Sue in St. Charles. Um, and that, the reason we have all of the stores listed, one is because we wanted to, you to know who all isn't participating is this is your pickup store okay so if you're going to start the crawl in claire then i would put your pickup store in claire okay and that way we know where to send your passport um so it'll be there when you get there okay now you could pick it up earlier and then i would pick the store that's closer to you um, so if you're closer to us, you'd pick us and do it that way. And, but you get to go to all the stores, so it doesn't matter. Hi, Amy. And, but I want you guys to know to scroll all the way down, all the way down souvenir project bag. Okay. This is how you get the cool project bag. And I'm just going to do this. I'm going to pick up my passport at Victorian Purses by Sue in St. Charles. And I'm going to get a souvenir project bag. This project bag does not have a city attached to it. What it's going to do is I'm going to have an order for Sally Smith. And she is going to be picking up her passport at Victorian Purses by Sue. So her project bag will go with her passport. Okay, so they'll both be there. Um, that's how we're going to organize it. That's how we're going to bundle them together. Okay, then you're just going to add to the cart. And it comes up here and you proceed to check out. And... Oh, I didn't get a, I didn't get a souvenir bag. So I want to refresh. View cart. Okay because I want to click here to continue shopping because I missed out on the souvenir bag. That's probably good that I did this. So you guys will know what to do if you do the same thing. I'm going to click here. I'm going to scroll all, whoops. I'm going to get in here and scroll all the way down and I'm going to click one. 
okay? And I'm gonna add to the cart. Okay, now I have a project bag and I have a passport. I'm going to be picking both of them up at Victorian Purses by Sue. And then I am just gonna proceed to check out. And it has both of them in there. It would be helpful if you gave us your email when you do this. It usually asks for it. If I go here to check out, it's going to ask for your email and your phone. Please give them to us. So in case you don't make it to Victorian Purses by Sue and she's got stuff for you, she knows how to get a hold of you. Okay. Or she can contact us and we can get a hold of you. Okay. And um, so that is how we're doing it. We're going to do free in store pickup and all that kind of stuff. So you are good. Um, and this is what it tells you you have. It's $23 if you get both. Feel free. You can, if you want, buy them for your whole group, whatever you want to do. Um, and in this information, it is going to, I am going to cancel out. Hang on, I'm gonna get rid of these things so that we can see my whole screen. Okay, now I can go back. All right, it is going to give you the dates. When we get closer, we'll give you more information on our Facebook page. It will also be added to this page as we get closer. We'll know if anybody has any unique times that they're open. Maybe we'll put in there that somebody's not open on Sundays or something like that. That will most likely be on our Facebook page. Um, and you want to go to as many shops as you can because when you get to the last shop, you're going to pull off a coupon with your name, your email, and your phone number, and we're going to enter you into a drawing. Because I know that I have been busy getting um, raffle ticket or raffle prizes and some really fun ones. Hang on, I'm trying to make this so you guys can see me again. Um, I've been trying to get some great, I contacted every vendor I have, and I already know that I have three things coming, really good kits. So you can enter to win those, but you have to make sure you leave your contact information with the last shop you go to, and then we'll gather all that up. And probably about a week later, we will draw who the winners are, okay? And I think it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going from Brighton up to Tawas City. You don't have to do them all on the same day. We know the price of gas. We know everybody's going to jam five people in their car. Um... And that's okay because, you know, we're knitting people. We like to bond together. Um, and I think for the dates again, thank you, Pam, is Thursday, July 28th through Saturday, August 6th. It's actually this year is the same time period that the I-75 yarn crawl was. We figured everybody already still had it on their calendar, so we would just use those dates. It may alter a little next year, but we'll worry about that next year. So um, they're fun bags. Their passport are gonna be um, set up. I don't even have a um, thing to show you guys yet, but they're going to have information about each one of the shops, what their hours are, what their address, uh, maybe some directions on how to get there. And you really do want to get a passport because you may not, you may be one of the shops is going to give you a deal because you have your passport with you. You know, I don't know. Um, I know we might have two exclusive yarn yarns, fingering weight yarns coming to our store. Um, and, but I wanted you guys to get in on this. The sooner that you order your passport, we can get more passports. We can't get more bags. So make sure you order your bags. Um, and they're cute. So don't worry about it. Um, we always do fun bags and, um, I think you'll like them. We showed them to a couple people here in the store and they liked them. Um, they have bottoms and they're, they're cute. So I think that will be good. Um, 
but we kind of are trying to see how many people are going to want to do it so we know how many bags to order. Okay. Um, so that again is Thursday, July 28th through Saturday, August 6th. Um, so it's over two weekends and these yarn crawls are always fun, but these are shops that haven't necessarily done yarn crawls. So they're, you're going to see fun things at their stores. We all have something a little different and I think you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So they're not a huge, you're not going all the way down to Kentucky like the I-75 Yarn Crawl did. You're staying right in middle Michigan, and I think that'll be fun. So, and you don't have to do it all in one day. It's over 10 days, so you can do a couple stores and do a couple stores and maybe go back to a couple stores, you know, all that good stuff. So um, that's my scoop. Just wanted to get that out before I left out of town. To, um, so... Yes, so that's the scoop. The ladies here at the store know all the details, so make sure you ask them if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.